Hello there, I'm Noreen from Katie Sue Designs Flower Soft People. I'd just like to introduce you to one of our range of textures. This is a tree textures and you can see inside it, it has three different shades of green flower soft. When you've got them home, first thing that you would do is to open them out and put them into larger dishes so that you can actually use it to sprinkle. You can see that this is the dark green flower soft that we've got here. I've also got the much brighter green in my bowl here. And this is a slightly different texture. And this is the sage green ultra fine, much finer. So what would we do with them? Well, you can use them for any pre-printed or stamped images. It may be an image that you yourself have that you've stamped or painted. And you want to add a little bit of realism. I've already done some of it just to show you what it was like when it was actually on and dried. Importantly, you need to use flower soft glue. And this is a very low water content, high tack PVA glue. It's also got a very nice fine nose applicator. So if I was doing small areas, so maybe we'll do this little tree that we've got here. What you need to be doing is putting tiny little dabs of glue. So I'm just applying very light pressure onto the nose, onto the um, glue, so that I can get tiny little dabs of glue from the tip. There you see the amount of glue that we've got on there. And in this instance, because it's such a very fine image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle over the sage green ultra fine. You'll be able to see how fine that is. Tap off the excess and there we have instant foliage on your very small image on your tree. Another thing that you can do is you can actually mix your colours. So say for instance we're going to mix the lovely light green and the dark green. It's very simple to achieve. You're just taking a little pinch of each, put it in your bowl, mix it through, and then you've got that lovely mix to be able to use again on any of your stamped images, pre-printed images. I'm going to place a sheet underneath so it's going to be able to catch all the sprinkles. And again, exactly the same technique. So we're kind of following up the bough, the branches. This image doesn't have any leaves or flowers on. If it did, then you could go in and around those because what you're doing is adding texture and dimension. You're not wanting to actually cover up too much of a lovely artwork. So don't do it in too large an area. So just that scale. And then again, literally just Drop that over the top, make sure that you've got all of that glued area covered and then tap off the excess. And there we have it. Again, we've achieved lovely dimension and texture. Once this is dry, probably 30 minutes, I would probably leave it an hour before I did this. Once it's dry though, just give it a light brush and that's going to take off all the excess. It's not taking off um, flower soft that's stuck to the glue. It's taking off flower soft that was just caught onto the other little sprinkles. So then, of course, we can put all of our sprinkles safely back in the dish for further use. Don't forget, though, there are some other lovely floral mixes. This one, for instance, is the peony pink mix. So that enables you to give a lovely floral effect to your flowers. Another thing that you can do is, if you're using it in your um, your miniature scenes, so say for instance it was your doll's house or you may have some um, other hobby which may be um, train collection, miniature train collection, what you can do is, on your little images, on your little pots here, I've already done this side so I can show you what it's like when it's dry, you can see they have chipped that. That's not a problem because I'm just literally going to put some glue over the top of it. And again, we're putting quite liberal amounts on here, but I just want to have the effect of that moss and green 
just trailing down over the side of the urn. So we're literally, in this instance, I'm going to kind of press that on so that I'm going to get a nice heavy coverage onto my little miniature pot. So tap off the excess. Now you'll be able to see on there that you can actually see the white of the glue through there. Just leave that because when it dries, it's going to dry clear. So you can neaten that up, you can push it back into the boundaries where you want it to be. And see the effect of it when it's dry, it does give a very, very realistic effect of the moss and perfect for all your miniature scenes. And again, I can put my sprinkles straight back into my bowl for further use. I hope you've enjoyed that and you'll tune in again for some further demos.